Happy New Year everyone from Grandpa Jake at Funtime Grandpa. I wanted to take a few moments of your time just to express my feelings and impression of the head play goggle system that comes from Range Video. I don't want to get into too many of the technical aspects because there's enough reviews out there that explain that. I just want to show you how it can be used on a couple specific um, crafts and also of course your 5.8 system. It does have, uh, which is great, a 1280 by 800 resolution and a 72 degree field of view, which gives you an amazing feeling of, of being there with your, your craft up in the sky. But what I really liked about it is not only is it got the 5.8 gigahertz, and it now comes with 40 channels, which includes all the racing frequencies. It um, Blue screen, which people have talked about, has all been resolved. I've had zero issues with it on all the flights I've, I've used it on. And the thing that, that I really like is I have the Parrot Bebop right here, and I also have the uh, 3DR Solo. And what's nice about those two, where you don't have the ability to necessarily have a goggle system, is that you can hook this up through an HDMI cable directly into the side of the head pipe into the receivers of both the Solos um, receiver and also the uh, Parrot's uh, Sky Controller. And that gives you the feeling of being up with your, your drone. And that's nice because in the past you couldn't really do that because of the, the frequencies that it was on and the simplicity of, of using the head play is amazing. For around $250 you have an amazing um, system that, that can allow you to, you know, get the feel of being up in the air. And that's what I like. I used to fly ultralights, and for me this is a good alternative to, to feeling like I'm up in the sky. And I used it um, for the 5.8, I used it with my Phantom 2, perfectly clear, um, no issues at all. So I don't know what more I can really tell you other than um, I think it's great. For those, again, who have the, the parrots, uh, the bebops, and the, the solos, it's great because instead of holding the screen, you've got now the ability to, to view it as if you're up in the craft. And if somebody's with you, they can use that, the headset, you can use your monitor, uh, whatever you want to do, but just add so much more for the price. And the people at Range Video have been very good with support, any questions or, or issues, in my opinion, they're resolved immediately. So I won't go any further on that. I will attach a few videos at the end of this just so you can see um, the, the parrot I took, actually. You can see what the parrot is seeing, and I, I zoomed in on the goggles. I do want to mention one thing, that, that this may be very important. People have said they've had issues, if they have reading glasses, as I do, um, seeing it clearly. There's a couple um, modifications and a little snap-on glasses, flip-up glasses that you can buy for a few dollars um, off of Amazon and I'll put those links in there. But what I actually did is I added the extra foam that comes with the head play and I have a pair of glasses. They're just stuck right in there. I think they're about you know, just under five and a half inches wide. Perfect fit. So all I do is put it on. My glasses are right there. But um, you need to go with a higher power. For example, these are 1.75, but when you bring something up closer, you have to move up. So uh, using that as a guide, um, I had to move up to about a 3 to 3.5 um, power, and everything is perfect then. And like I said, there is a, a link I'm going to put in my description that shows somebody modifying it where they actually um, wire tie right up inside a pair of flip goggles, which is good. So either way, there are solutions, and they're easy for anybody that um, does have the reading um, issue. It's not really one. So listen, I'm going to um, let you go at this point in time. I hope that you, you follow my, uh, my page, and if you have any questions, write me and I'll try to help you out. But for me, I think it's a great... Um, Great little gadget to add to the collection of things. So from Grandpa Jake, I hope everybody has a, a wonderful new year once again, and uh, I wish you all the best. Take care. Connecting it to my Bebop, 
and you can sort of see what the Bebop is seeing right at the moment. And from there, it basically duplicates what you see on the screen on your iPad or your smart device. But it's really neat when you can fly it with the goggle system, you're uh, seeing it as if you're inside the Bebop. And right over here, I'm going to send the Bebop up. And it's going to send that information back. So hang on a few minutes. I'm going to set up a little auto mission. Okay, we're going to send it on a little auto mission. And as you can see, it's traveling. You can see it on the smart device. And we'll bring it back into here. And you'll be able to see the same thing. Hopefully you won't be getting too much of a glare, but it's tough making the camera your pair of eyes. But watch for a moment. It is really, really high clarity. And it is so cool flying the Bebop or anything like that uh, with the set of goggles like this. Head play. There we go. We're going to another uh, waypoint.